Hello, Patrick Walchuk here, and we're going to present you with a financial analysis on a multi-unit building that's sold in one of the small towns that surrounds Ottawa. This town happened to be in the southeast uh, uh, area, and uh, it was a four-unit building. So just before we get into it, if you enjoy getting these, click on the subscription button, hit the notification bell, and we'll get them sent out to you every 30 days. So getting right into it, this four-unit building was listed for 409. It sold for 375 you know roughly $95,000 per unit the scheduled rental income was about $35,000 the effective rental income after deducting for vacancy and bad debt was about 34,000 operating expenses were stated to be about $9,000 and then when we factor in <clears throat> management and maintenance costs that brings our total operating expenses up to 11,452 knowing all of that we have a net operating income of 22,584 so that gives us a very healthy cap rate of over 6% which is certainly something you don't see in Ottawa the operating expense ratio was 33.6 which is um, Normal to better than normal. It's it's quite low. Uh, the property sold for 11 times the gross income and 17 times the net. Now, in order to buy this property and have at least a small positive cash flow, a buyer would have needed 18%, which is unbelievable. You know, in Ottawa, we're looking at 45 and 50%. So anyhow, that 18% translates into a down payment of 67,500 and we broke that down using um, a mortgage rate of 5.5 percent we did a 25 year ram on it and uh, that gives us a monthly payment of about 1877 translating into our annual debt service that's 22,524 and that ends up with a positive cash flow of $60 or an ROI of 0.09%. So um, again, you, you can't get that in Ottawa. So if you're looking to buy a property in one of the small towns around Ottawa, like Smith Falls, Perth, Campville, Cornwall, uh, that kind of thing, we've got a very good agent that can help you with that. Don't hesitate to give us a call. Thank you.